Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the operation and function. But to be specific guys, itong video na to is a requested question mula sa isa sa mga subscribers natin. So, ang question niya, Sir, what if we will do multiplying functions? And the given functions are f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 and g of x is equal to 4x squared. So, ang pinapanap sa atin ay f times g of x wherein kaparehas lang siya ng f of x times g of x. Sir, paano nga ba ginagawa yung gantong klaseng um, operation sa function wherein you will multiply two different functions? Now, if you want to find this given function, f times g of x, sabi ko nina, this one is the same as f of x times g of x. Wherein, since yung f of x natin is equal to 2x minus 5, you will replace f of x by the binomial 2x minus 5. So you will enclose this by parentheses. And you have here the function g, which is equal to 4x squared. Since multiplying yon, you will enclose your 4x squared by parentheses. Pero, medyo awkward yung position ng ito, guys. Kung mapansin nyo, this is a binomial, this is a monomial. Kaya natin makuha yung sagot dito, pero, instead of this position, I will suggest na ilagay natin sa unahan, si 4x squared kasi multiplying naman tayo. So it will become 4x squared times 2x minus 5. Sir, ano next step natin dito? We will use distributive property. Again, we will use distributive property para makapag-multiply tayo ng monomial to binomial. Since sinabi kong distributive property, one way siya kung paano mag-multiply ng isang polynomial to another polynomial. For in Para magawa natin yun, we will multiply 4x squared directly to 2x and 4 times 2, it will give you 8. And as for the variables, we have x squared times x. Ang gabi mo dito, simply copy the variable and then add the exponents, which is what? 2 and 1. It will give you the answer of 3. Now, tapos pa lang tayo sa first term. Next naman natin, we will multiply 4x squared papunta kay negative 5 wherein when you multiply 4 and negative 5 it will give you negative 20 and for the variables kopyahin mo lang yung x squared at ito na mismo yung sagot natin your f times g of x is simply equal to x cubed 8x cubed minus 20x squared Pero, syempre, dagdagan natin yung problem natin. Na pagbigyan na natin yung subscriber natin, we will add another function. Let's say we have the function h of x and that is equal to x plus 1. What if, sir, ang pinahanap naman po sa atin ay f times h of x. Paano po natin gagawin yun, sir? Now, yung f times h of x natin is equal to f of x times h of x. Sir, paano na po? You will replace f of x by 2x minus 5. So, it will become 2x minus 5. And close it by parentheses. And now, for h of x, we have here the binomial x plus 1. Sir, anong next step natin? We will use FOIL method to multiply the two binomials. First, yung FOIL natin na, first terms, yung letter F natin, first terms. You will multiply 2x by x. And the answer is 2x squared. Next, we have the letter O. Ang ibig sabihin letter O, the outer terms. Outer terms. You have 2x and 1. 
multiply 2x by y, it will give you plus 2x. Next, letter I natin, inner terms, inner, you know the terms, that is not negative 5, and x, multiply mo sila, it will give you negative 5x. And lastly, we have the last terms. Sinabi ng last terms, mga huling terms sa dalawang binomial. We have negative 5 and 1, and their product is simply negative 5. Ngayon, hindi pa tayo tapos. When it comes to FOIL method, laging dalawa na sa gitna, ay kailangan nyo sila i-combine. Kapag pareha sila. Since, makapansin nyo, we have here 2x and negative 5x, we can combine them kasi like terms sila. So, to simplify, you have 2x squared minus 3x because 2x minus 5x is 3x and then minus 5. Ito na ngayon, yung value o yung simplified form if we are asked to find f of h time, f times h of x. Now, I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismo lecture natin. Actually, naparami natin videos na under ng operation and function. And I hope sa nag-request ito, makita mo ito, and hindi mo lang kakopyahin yung sagot na meron tayo. Pag-aralan mo, minigay ko sa yung example ng yung tanong mo at yung inad ko na example. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!